All right, college composers, how are you today? So we're talking to Brianna, Mitchell, and Nate. Um, three names I'm always happy to see uh, when they're in my email inbox or uh, when it's uh, my turn to uh, to look at their their work. So uh, I went into this uh, collaborative multimodal project with very high expectations. Uh, and I will be reading your reflections as soon as I'm done with the uh, with the all the CMPs so that uh, I can see kind of how this all came together. But um, I mean, even with my high expectations, uh, geez, uh, you, you might have even exceeded them. What a great uh, final document you've created. It's um, it's kind of hard for me to find stuff to want to build on, which I guess I, usually I've been doing sort of, you know, a little bit of good news and a lot of less good news with these videos. Um, so let me start off with um, the, the, the one concern I guess I had was that it was just a little bit on the broad side. Um, you kind of, you know, uh, you touched on, you know, several topics somewhat, somewhat fleetingly, um, but not really all that fleetingly. I mean, I just, I wonder like what, you know, sort of online shopping has to do with food delivery has to do with GPS. You know what I mean? Like finding a through line all the way um, from one subject to another uh, was a little slightly tough, I guess, um, but not impossible. And uh, given how solid the work you did with each subject was at sort of uh, ameliorates any concerns that I have about, you know, sort of being, uh, you know, a mile wide and an inch deep. You know, um, I, I just, I tend to conceptualize things the other way around. I like deep dives on subjects. And so maybe that's a personal preference um, that I can reconsider in light of such an effective final product. Uh, you know, you did right by all of your subjects here. I, um, I found that the approach was very coherent. Um, so often it feels like student A takes the ball and runs with it 20 yards, hands off to student B students, you know, and until the project's done. Um, I get a sense that you guys all sort of discuss this, you know, this project a lot together um, in ways that maybe uh, I wish every group would have. Um, so, uh, I mean, you generated your own video. I like my man catching the football and then the Frisbee, and, you know, uh, then, uh, the, but the videos that were integrated beneath your narration, that's not something I ever get to see. I wish I, I wish I could see it a lot more often. Um, but uh, that really, you know, it seems like you had a really clear conception of what multimodality is, uh, what it looks like, and what it should aspire to. It's, it's very, uh, very encouraging to see uh, a group of students work so hard and to have their efforts turn out so effectively. Um, so, uh, you know, you had music and you had narration, you had video, often all at the same time. Uh, it's really great, uh, and, and it made um, your arguments all the more fascinating and engaging. Um, so, you know, it wasn't just like, oh, now here's a four minute YouTube clip in the middle of our presentation. No, there were clips, but they were narrated over and they were put to work. Um, organizationally, I liked seeing the uh, uh, the references after each individual portion. I don't know if that was a workload determination that you all made, uh, or uh, if you were thinking about your viewer's experience, I really don't care which, because it was quite nice, because so often I'll have to, pause a video and, you know, kind of uh, uh, drag the, the the dot, you know, all the way to the end of the video to see the citation, to, you know, just so I know what I'm getting into in terms of the, uh, an argument. Uh, so that, I don't know, that was very nice as well. I didn't have to do that. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, so um, what else? I mean, I, all my notes are extremely positive. Uh, I've watched your video a couple times now. So um, I, um, I really thank you uh, for your efforts and um, you really made grading this one easy for me. Um, this is uh, an A. Kind of looks like an anarchy sign, doesn't it? No, this is an A CMP. Uh, I know when when I see one, um, it's got everything I'm looking for, and uh, it does so in a way that's uh, engaging. And uh, just for what it's worth, you've made me smarter. I'm going to sound smarter at uh, you know dinner parties now because I've learned so much about how scary online shopping is. For instance, uh, is you know I, um, I I shop at uh, backcountry.com a lot for my running stuff, and I just put a pair of compression socks uh, in my cart. I haven't bought them yet. I'm thinking about buying them. And all of a sudden, those compression socks are all over my desktop. They're all over my Instagram feed, you know. Uh, and so I, I kind of knew that stuff, but ugh, hearing it out loud like that. Very effective stuff. So uh, thanks for the nightmares. Um, but thanks more for uh, your awesome efforts. Thanks.